Hello, Lindsay here. I'm going to be talking about handling exercises. Um, the reason we do this is because dogs don't always like to be touched in all of their different areas, but it's something that they have to do in certain situations, like uh, a vet's going to have to check their teeth. Uh, groomers are going to do things like expressing anal glands. Uh, also, strangers and kids don't always know the, the right way to touch dogs, so we want them to feel comfortable with this, not necessarily that they're going to like it, but just be tolerable of it so that they don't result in any type of bites or, or growling or snapping when they're interacting with uh, new people or when somebody else is touching them that they don't feel comfortable. Uh, this, uh, you, something with this is you want to watch their body language. Uh, when you are doing these exercises, you want to look for, for how far your dog is going to tolerate this. Uh, if they're doing things like shying away, if they're getting really stiff, uh, if they're licking their lips or giving you kind of the whale eye where they're kind of looking away, uh, you could tell that they're really nervous about it. So you wanna watch for these types of, of body language while you're doing these exercises so that you yourself don't, does not get bit. So you wanna make sure that this is a slow, steady process. If they're uncomfortable with it, uh, kind of back off a little bit and do it a little bit slower. Uh, this week we're going to start with the with the head. Uh, we're going to progress other weeks to do other areas of the body. You want to practice these at least one time a week. If they're less tolerant, you probably want to spend a little bit more time doing this. Uh, we're going to examine the teeth and how you want to examine the teeth is take the treat and put it between your fingers and have them kind of nibble on it and, and kind of just mess with their lips while they're uh, eating that treat and you don't want to go too far too fast if they're not being tolerant you know just do a quick little touch around their mouth and progress to being able to possibly even brush their teeth because that's a, a good thing to be able to do with your dog to prevent any any type of dental disease is to be able to brush their teeth but it's also important for your your vet visits that they're able to handle them and, and check inside their teeth and make sure that there's not anything going on with it um, also uh, the next one we're going to do is ears. You want to make sure that your dog is okay with having their ears touched because your groomer is going to touch their ears and be inside there cleaning them out. Also vets are going to be looking in there. Uh, certain dogs are prone to ear infections so you want to be able to see if there's anything going on, if they've got ear mites, all that stuff. So you want to make sure that your dog is comfortable with handling their ears. So same, same idea, you're going to take the treat, put it in your in between your fingers and just feed them this while you're kind of just playing around with their ears, watch for that body language and, and work your way to being able to fold the ear back and kind of getting a little bit more intrusive with your ear handling on there. Um, next exercise would be the patting the top of the head. Uh, a lot of dogs don't like to have their head padded on. It's, it's uncomfortable for them and they don't like the people hovering over it. Uh, but this is important because strangers will do this to your dog. Kids will do this to, to your dog. So for this exercise, same same idea, have them give you the treat, make sure you're, you're marking it, letting them know that they're good or whatever your marker word is, and uh, giving them that treat and just kind of mess around with the top of their head, give them a couple of little pats. Uh, the next one we're going to do is leading the dog by their collar or harness. Uh, this is a very important one. If your dog ever gets away, you want to be able to get your dog be retrievable. You want if any stranger comes up and grabs their collar, you don't want that dog reacting and biting at that person grabbing for their collar. Because number one, you're gonna have a bite record on your on on them now. And number two, uh, you're gonna be on your own trying to catch your own dog because they're gonna say, well, he tried to bite me, so I'm not gonna try to help you with him. Good luck, your dog went that way, is, is how they're gonna say it. So with this one, uh, kind of lead your dog around for you know about 10 seconds or so and reward them with that treat while you are holding their harness or their collar and give them that treat at the same time and tell them they're they're being good or yes whatever your marker word is 